Let me ask you all a question. Are we ready to lead? Greetings, everyone, and Radhe Radhe. Today, we stand at a turning point in our history where human intelligence meets artificial intelligence. What was once celebrated as the mindful creation of the Vedas has now transformed into a world dominated by algorithms and social media, often redefining how we perceive, connect, and even live. AI has become our modern day Vishwakarma, tirelessly crafting solutions that once seemed impossible. It predicts floods, safe life through precision medicine, and connects 4.8 billion people in real time. AI's contribution to global economy is projected to reach $15.7 trillion by 2030. And social media, with its power of voice to voiceless, is bringing Tagore's dream where mind is without fear closer to reality. But as it connects us, we must ask, are these connections real or are we trapped in an illusion, a digital Maya? The Bhagavad Gita has warned us, the one who will not be in control will face ruin. Are we losing that control to the endless scroll or to the addictive lure that lights and shares? Ladies and gentlemen, I certainly believe until the youth won't stop spreading misinformation and fake news like they did in Delhi COVID pandemic, instead of fact checking them, until the youth won't stop viraling the rape cries instead of socially campaigning against them, until the youth won't use deep fakes to destroy democracy, elections, and women's dignity instead of protecting them, and until the youth of this country would debating on the religion and caste supremacy in the comments and not making the nation proud on social media, I certainly believe this pitfalls would expand. But ladies and gentlemen, women are most suffering in this case. 87%, yes, 87% of women reported online harassment in 2021. What we need to do, as I stand on the land of Tara Rani and Ahilya Bai Holkar, I'm remembered that women are the warriors, not only on the battlefields, but on the dark corners of internet. Technology must be there, Ali. Apps that inform government, algorithms that erase harmful content, and most importantly, the content that is being used is delivered to them safely. India's ancient wisdom offers guidance. Panch Tantra teaches us the art of balance with ethics and innovation. That rupees 500 crore investment in AI Center for Excellence of Education. And Gandhi's Charka has now transformed to Chat GPT, a symbol of self resilience that teaches us that technology should liberate us and not enslave us by our critical thinking, rational decision making process, and most importantly, what makes us human in this algorithm world humanity. Our ability to choose, our ability to question, and our ability to respond. And with that, I invocate all the youth here, from the wisdom of Gandhi, from the Sarvodaya of Ambedkar, and from the glory of Bhagat Singh, I invite you. Uthishta Jagrit Prapya Varani Bodhatha. Arise, awake, and not stop till the goal is reached. Kyuki, nahi hum is door ke gulam hai, or nahi vakt se majboor hai. Nahi hum is door ke gulam hai, or nahi vakt se majboor hai. Takniq ki lehre chalengi, magar hum hi apni manzil ka noor hai. With that, the storm is here, but so is our strength. So answer me in unison. Are we ready to lead? Are we ready to lead? Thank you so much, Radhe Radhe.